Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we're doing a build video on a project that I've been wanting to do for a while. But before we start, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join the Facebook group, have a look at my website, join Patreon, all that lot. And now, a short word about today's video sponsor, which is PCBWay. And PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and much more. PCB Way is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality, on-time delivery, competitive pricing, one to two layer board starts at $5 with 24 hour turnaround. Get an instant quote today by visiting pcbway.com or click on the link below and check them out. So yeah, thanks PCB Way for sending me these PCBs. That's um, very, very kind of you. And let's have a look at them. So as you would expect from a premium PCB manufacturer, these boards are absolutely perfect, very nicely finished. The silk screen is nicely detailed. Basically a very nice board, a very nice board indeed. Let's have a little close up at it. Yep, no problems at all. Everything you would expect from a quality PCB manufacturer. So this was just a standard 1.6mm thickness board with green solder mask. Nothing too fancy, but it will absolutely do for the project I've got in mind here. So the project we've got in mind is to do with this crystal control module, which is the um, SI5351, and we've got an Arduino um, Pro Mini there. And a load of wires hanging off it because this was my test bed. I wanted to see whether it worked before I sent the PCBs off for manufacture. So let's start putting this thing together. We'll do it slowly, bit by bit, make sure I've got everything right. So I don't just want to put it all together and then find out that something doesn't work. Let's build it up in pieces and find out what's going on. So firstly we're going to mount the Arduino Pro Mini and we're going to give it a test. So I've connected up my programmer and we're just going to change the blink light sketch at the moment. So as you can see the light is blinking, it's blinking very slowly. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the timing, we're going to hit program and as you can see the light is now flashing quicker. So good communication to the board. Absolutely fantastic. So now we're going to fit a voltage regulator onto the board. And we're going to be using one of these AMS 1117s. 5 volt regulator. And I found out later on that these things are very, very delicate. Any sign of overcurrent and they go short circuit. Which is not very good when you haven't got any short circuit protection on the board. And it likes to um, bust the, the Arduino. But anyway, if you don't have a short, they're absolutely fine. But yeah, they don't um, stand very much abuse, should we say. So we're going to solder this AMS1117 onto the board. Just added a little bit of flux. Just to aid the soldering. Just makes it run a lot better and let's give it a power up and we've got a red light lights flashing so that's working nicely should have done this first really check the voltage but near enough 5 volts that's good enough that will work just nicely I'm just checking another point on the board for the 5 volts which goes to the, the crystal unit and that's present so I've fitted a few more components there, a few more of the bypass capacitors. And there's our crystal generator board that we're going to be using. 
the SI5351. We're just going to be using one of the clock outputs. And there's my test band switch. So I've just hooked that up just for testing. Let's see what it can do. So I've got the output hooked up to the frequency counter. I've already done the calibration. If you want to know how to calibrate these, um, John Hawkes has done a good video on these using the Etherkit libraries. As you can see, these are just the standard Cybernet crystals, or should we say the standard Cybernet crystal frequencies for the uh, crystal oscillator board. And now there we've got our um, tune. So as you can see, we switch the tune on and now we can adjust the output frequency. So that's going to be our shift and that's going to make us go plus and minus 5kc. But it is programmable. You can program it to whatever you want, which is nice. But obviously, the more wider it is, the more um, less precise it is. So we're just going to have a look at the um, the output to see how noisy it is. So we've got our primary spike there, which is nice. Got a little bit of a spike on a on a first harmonic there, but it looks clean enough. Looks clean enough for now. So. Okay, that's excellent. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a look at the output of the radio's original cr crystal board. And there you can see the three harmonics coming out of the crystals. So it's not absolutely clean coming off the crystal board anyway. So that doesn't bother me too much. And you can see we've got three harmonics coming off it. It probably is a lot cleaner. But hopefully there's filtering further on in the radio, which will stop this. So that's our output of our oscillator board, which we'll be injecting our signal in. We've got a voltage meter on the VCO just to check. And we've got a decent VCO voltage and everything seems to be working just fine. So we've just got the frequency counter on the output. And as you can see, our bands are working just nice. Now the good thing with this is that we can program it to whatever we want. So I've got it programmed to super low to super high at the moment, but I'm going to change that programming later so we can get part of the 10 meter SSB section. And there's our shift working nicely. So initial tests are looking good. We're receiving signals. Yeah, wherever this station is, is absolutely booming across. So yeah, it looks like it's working nicely. Yeah, uh, no distortion or anything. Just getting a radio report off a local. Yeah, 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 cheers mate, um, you're not, not doing too bad yourself there, nice and clear, Rog. Uh, I just, um, East Manchester. So that's a good radio report from a local, so everything seems to be working like that. So out with the oscillator board and the band select, and we're going to fit a new band select in place. So we've got our crystal board back out again. We started putting some more permanent wires onto it. I fitted the rest of the um, passives on there. I've not populated it fully yet because I actually put more options on the board than what I needed for just in case. So there's our initial wiring. So it's looking um, looking good. So the brown wire there is the LSB offset that would be connected to the original oscillator board. So we've enabled the LSB offset. We've set that in the code and that works 
absolutely beautifully. If it was to go into a, a Cobra unit or something like that, then we'd have to have the USB offset selected as well. But this radio, the Cybernet, only requires the LSB offset. As you can see, the tune works nicely. So initial tests, this is working absolutely fantastic. So we purpose that end switch for tune on and off. So with the tune off, it's bang on the fives and we switch the tune on and we can bring it down to zeros. So we can hear the state side coming in there. So that's working nicely. Mike one Alpha Tango Mike. Yeah, this is Mike one Alpha Tango Mike, uh, Manchester United Kingdom, five and nine, my friend. My name's Graham. Golf Alpha Mike. Graham, M1 ATM. For in Damn auto tuner. Okay, there, Al. No problem at all. Nice to make your acquaintance on the airwaves. Uh, can I just get your QTH there, please, old man? Yeah, just gone quarter past nine. Just gone quarter past nine over the pond there. I'll no problem at all. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much for your report there. Um, yeah, I can say five and nine. Absolutely booming across the pond this evening. Some nice propagation. I'll leave you to your um, DX and I wish you a good seven three. Yeah, cheers. Thanks a lot. Uh, seven three. Absolutely fantastic contact there across the pond on this radio. Brilliant. So, with a little bit of help from our friends over at Print Extreme, I decided to get a custom decal made for this radio because the front was looking a bit tired. And as you can see, we've now got a 10kc step, we've got the tune on and off, we've got three bands and the 10 meters. We've changed the tune, well, we've changed it from clarifier to tune, we've got tune on and off, and I think it looks quite good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Big thanks to PCB Way for supplying the board. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another episode.